All right, we're back here doing some more of these space diagonals. So we are gonna look at space diagonals. Again, we're looking for the diagonal. If it's on a flattened piece of a rectangle or a square, whatever it is. Um, so we are doing the Pythagorean. We're gonna be doing it twice. So we find the hypotenuse of the first triangle. So I'm gonna just draw like a blown up version of this so you can see it. This side right here is one of your legs. This side here is one of your legs. So you have a three, four, and a missing piece that we're gonna call right here. That is, this is your hypotenuse right here. So that's if the item is lying flat diagonally. So we're gonna solve that using Pythagorean. Three squared plus four squared, hopefully you know this by now. And if you don't, it's okay. This is a Pythagorean triple. Three squared is nine, four squared is 16 and equals x squared. These two together add up to be 25. And then we wanna get the inverse operation, which is the square root, both sides, to get x by itself. x is equal to five. And we don't know what the units are on this, so we're just gonna call this five units. So that is the first diagonal. Now that is only one of the two diagonals we have here. That's the flattened piece. And then now, and we found that as the hypotenuse of the flattened bottom piece, we're now gonna use it to find what happens in this triangle if I have to use the object from the back top corner and lay it down to the bottom front corner. So we have another triangle here, which is a little bit different. We now know this bottom is five units. The height of this is the same height as this one, so that's 12. And then we need to find that missing piece, which we're going to call X. So five squared. Again, we're doing the Pythagorean. We have the A and the B. 12 squared is equal to X squared. Five squared is 25. 12 squared is 144. We have X squared. Add these two together. We get 169. And if we know our perfect squares, this is another perfect square. Square root both sides. And x is equal nicely to 13. And these are going to be, again, units because it is not identified in the problem. And if you want more questions like these, you can find them on my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok at E1 Algebra. All these are located in the Pythagorean Theorem playlist. And don't forget to like, share, follow me for more. And make sure you save it for later. And I'll see you soon.